here we go. Talk about my Cookie 10 ukulele. And here's a sound sample. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Well, it doesn't show signs of stopping, and I brought some corn for popping. The light to turn way down low, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you ever hold me tight, well, all the way home I'll be warm. Oh, the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. The lights are turn way down low, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. All right, I'll talk a little bit about the Cookie Tin uh, ukulele, banjo ukulele, if you want to call it that. It is a standard old corny looking Cookie Tin from Salvation Army on sale for 36 cents with a wood neck that goes through the body. There are two... Uh, wood braces, one on each side, glued into place, then screwed onto the neck. There is a bridge, which is a banjo bridge, sawed way down. Had to expand the grooves on top for the strings. There is one sound hole with a little screen-covered grommet. Holding the strings in, I just put four wood screws down there, tied them down to the end. We have a, here we go, homemade uh, piezo disc pickup. And four sheet metal screws that are just holding the lid onto the can. The neck is uh, 20 frets, 18 inch scale, just like a tenor ukulele. The uh, frets are medium uh, nickel frets from CB Giddy. Up top here, the nut is a bone nut filed down into place very easily. Four cheap ukulele tuners, which I salvaged from a kit. Two string retainers, just to keep some tension on those strings. And let's see, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, feel free to email me or send a video response and I will be happy to get right back to you as soon as possible.